in color. The continuing story of Peyton Place. Starring Dorothy Malone as Constance McKenzie. Ed Nelson as Michael Rossi. Ryan O'Neill as Rodney Harrington. Barbara Parkins as Betty Anderson. Tim O'Connor as Elliot Carson. Christopher Connolly as Norman Harrington. Patricia Morrow as Rita Harrington. James Douglas as Stephen Cord. Tonight, in the bitter cold of a New England winter, Martin Payton has come to a nearby airport to meet one of his Boston attorneys, William Kennerly, a gentleman who has spent more than 40 years in the fine print of the Payton Empire. Kennerly has been summoned to Payton's side on an urgent matter, a legal means of manipulating the surviving members of the Payton family. Payton's purpose? To achieve exactly that arrangement of human life and human chemistry that suits him. His means? a driving intelligence, and a huge fortune. Good evening, Martin. Get in, Kennedy. You want Miss Wilson to stay out here and freeze to death while we go over this document? Miss Wilson, you and Mother, give us a moment alone. Very well. comfortable out of that coat. I'd be more comfortable back at my desk in Boston. <laughs> I can't imagine why. This is the last time, Martin. I can't abide planes, and you know it. Yet you order me to fly up here and back in this kind of weather. Well, if handling my business affairs is getting too much handling for you. Handling your business affairs? This is nothing but a whim. A mad whim or a senile whim? A darn fool whim. <laughs> You're getting old, Kennedy. There was a time when you considered my mad whims divine inspirations. You're sure you've covered all the changes? Of course. I had to take two men off other work. I'm not interested in your troubles. Martin, have you thought this through thoroughly? Naturally. Why are you doing it? Because I find it necessary. I disagree with you. Thoroughly. I think it's the most destructive provision ever entered into a will. But it's legal, isn't it? I trust you're absolutely certain about that. One more time, sir? No. Get in, Miss Wilson. You too, Weber. Yeah. We'll need three signatures. Martin, have you seen a doctor lately? You're beginning to wonder when you'll have to execute this whim. Rest easy. In the last six months, I've survived a fire and countless emotional jolts. Dr. Ross is coming to believe that I'm indestructible, that I have a special dispensation from the devil. Right there, please, your full name. You don't have to read it, Weber. That'll be all, Weber. window, Weber. Close it. That's that. Have a good flight back. In this weather, on that plane, not a chance. I appreciate your coming up here, Kennelly, and the speed with which you made those changes. Martin, the old will was an excellent document watertight. It made sense. It gave protection to your legitimate heirs. It was the result of a lot of thought and effort. But this new will, William, 
Do you enjoy beating a dead horse? I hope you're not sorry for this, Martin. Amuses you, Weber. You take it for granted that I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Never had anybody trust me that much, Mr. Payton. I'm sure you'll never regret it. I'll be needing your utmost discretion at times, Weber. I'm delighted to know that I can count upon it. Drive home. Yes, sir. Mr. Payton, chauffeur, to see you. See if the car's outside. Who? Mr. Payton, chauffeur, sir. Just a moment. Yes, sir. The car's right out in front of the building. I don't want to see him, especially here. Well, there must be something for Mr. Payton. You can't just send him away. Because you'd die of curiosity if I did. Send him in. Yes, sir. Hello, Stephen. Hey, it's not bad. Not bad at all. Don't you work, Weber? You know, you were my attorney, and I've never even been in your new office. What do you think about that? I'm a busy man. If you're just here on a sightseeing tour, then... Uh... Uh, Mr. Payton wants to know if you and the uh, missus want to join him for dinner at the inn. He's outside in the car. I'm sure he would have contacted you sooner, but uh, well, we just got back from the airport. Made it 19 minutes. Must be some kind of record, huh? I'm sure it is for Mr. Payton. Well, a man who flies people into town's got to have some respect for speed. Uh, he had to see his uh, Boston lawyer. That's what I call real class. Mr. Wainwright? Uh, no, Mr. Kennerly, his partner. A Kennerly guy sure hates to fly. I know. Well, how about dinner, Mrs. Cord? Well, um, tell Mr. Payton we'll be glad to join him. Yes, ma'am. Well, you certainly jumped on the bait. I didn't notice you refusing. I wonder why Mr. Kennedy would fly in in this weather. I don't know. But we're going to pretend that we're not the least bit interested. Special? No. Come on. <laughs> Where are we going? I'm abducting you. Well, let me think about it. Oh, no. You can't think on an empty stomach. Okay, now, which one of the fabulous wonders of Peyton Place shall we visit tonight? Oh, I don't care. Oh, but you have to care. It's a lady's choice. Let's see. There's the, uh... Oh, there's the shoreline. There's Mamacito's. There's the Shangri-La. And, of course, always the tried and true Colonial Inn with its fabulous New England cuisine. How much of that is kidding? Madam, I never kid. No, I mean about taking me to the inn. Were you really going to take me there? Like I said before, it's lady's choice. Uh, but I look awful. Well, that's a matter of opinion. Well, at least let me change my clothes. No one will look at your clothes. It's so dark in there, you can't even read the menu. Oh, 
pleasant surprise. Thank you. I was over in a house call over to McKee's, and I thought I'd stop by and see how Rachel was doing. Well, she's still under a lot of pressure. Yeah, well, I guess she always will be, as long as Chandler lives in Peyton Place. Yeah. They say that women have a nesting instinct, an urge to protect their young. I guess it's that instinct that tells me that Jack Chandler will always be a problem to her. Yeah, there's not much we can do about that. Most we can do is probably keep our mind off of it. You know, I've got a catalog here on the night extension courses at the high school. I thought maybe I'd, well, I mean, if you'd agree, I might, well, talk to her about it. No, is she home? Yeah, she's upstairs. Why don't you go on up? Oh, swell, swell. Oh, and Mike, would you like to stay to dinner? Elliot will be home soon. Oh, I'd like to. I, uh, well, I, I can't, uh, Connie. I have to be back at the hospital right away. I tell you what, I'll, I'll fix you something to go. Oh, don't go Mother Carson's trouble. short order oh, house. Oh, please, don't go to any trouble in it. That's just beef stew. Oh, we're going to get you all dressed up, Matthew. Yes, we're going to be so handsome. Up we go. Come on. Feed in. You're making a lot of noise tonight. <laughs> yes, you are. Whoops. Here we go. Hi. Hello. Hi, what you doing? Ah, I'm dressing Matthew. Hello, Sarpus. Huh? He's grumbling and groaning tonight. Well, he knows better than to try anything like that. When his godfather's around, don't you, old-timer, huh? Huh, Matthew? Well, I could go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you while you're doing that? Sure. Rachel, I want to talk to you about your education. Now, you told me when your uncle married your aunt, then your schooling stopped. Now, I think it's time you picked it up again, don't you? Oh, well, Dr. Rossi, I don't think I can. I'm very busy with the baby. Maybe when Matthew gets older. Oh, well, now, I don't think Matthew will miss you for one night or two nights a week. Rachel, are you nervous about sitting in the classroom again? No. Well, look, I, I picked up a catalog of courses that the high school night section has. Take a look at that. History of American institutions, um, English literature in the 18th century, yeah, 19th. 19th century, plain geometry. I don't know any arithmetic. Well, now, you have a quick mind, and we'll all help you with it. I don't want to bother you with it. Well, it won't just be me. It'll be everyone. I mean, Rod can help you with some of it. I don't think he'd be interested. Uh, don't be too sure about that. I am. Oh, well, look, well, look it over and pick some courses you think you'd like. I, uh, well, yeah, I've got to get back to the hospital. I have to work. Well, good night. You look at that now. I will. Good night, Dr. Rossi. Good night. Oh, Matthew, Dr. Rossi wants me to go back to school. that stop us? Hello, Lee. 